How's it going, Kaya? Thanks for doing this today. Uh, through four games, how would you assess your performance? Uh, if you feel like grading yourself, you can do that. But just how, how do you feel you played? Overall, I feel probably at about – I give myself so probably like a B, I'd say. Uh, I've been proud of myself for being able to get the ball directionally where we've wanted it. Uh, but something definitely that I've been trying to work on has been hang times um, and also just being a leader, being more vocal in terms of whether it's the pun unit get every, getting everyone set or with field goal especially. Uh, since I'm making calls and getting guys moved around. Uh, I've been trying to be more vocal about it. Uh, but just in terms of punting, I've, I feel pretty good so far, but obviously there's still a lot of work to be done. Kai, how have you seen the special teams unit be able to take a step forward this year in comparison to last year now that you have a guy like Pete Limbo, who is a full-time coordinator, he's not splitting time playing, you know, coaching the linebackers or coaching another position? I think having Coach Limbo full-time with special teams has been a huge advantage for our team. Uh, last year uh, with Coach Krantz, um, he had to help out with the DBs, and he really couldn't put all of his focus with special teams. Um, and we weren't bad, in, I wouldn't say, in any way, but um, definitely having Coach Sumble full-time. Uh, he's been meeting with a lot of our guys outside of practice. They, they want to be there. They want to come and meet with them to learn the schemes and learn what they have to do. Uh, so that's been really great to see. And it's like guys like want to be on special teams, uh, which I personally love you know, being a specialist. Like They want to be there. And whether it's punt protecting me or field goal protecting me and Parker, whatever it is, uh, the guys want to be there. And obviously, they've done a tremendous job with Debo blocking two punts and um, our return game is going to get going. But uh, yeah, it's been good to see that. Uh, obviously, Parker's made a ton of big kicks over his career. But what do you think that 50-plus that make from the other night did for him, just kind of getting that monk off his back, so to speak? I think, you know, because we've been making a joke that everyone in America wants to know if he can hit the long ball. Um, but he definitely answered that. And I, I knew he could do it. We've been kicking. I've seen him hit, you know, 60, 60 plus. Um, but in a game environment like that, late in the game, when you know your legs are short of fatigue, and he goes out there and hits a really good ball, you know, Matt delivered a perfect snap, uh, got the laces out, everything was good. Um, and that was just a really good hit for him. I was really happy for him uh, in a new career long. So that was great to see that and be a part of that moment. Kai, what's Coach Limbo like? And do you have a good Coach Limbo story from the time you've been around him? Coach Limbo, <laughs> Coach Limbo is. Coach Sumbo's, I would say, definitely dedic really dedicated to what he does and is really, really loves special teams as a whole. Um, he loves referring to th uh, World War II, World War I, uh, referring things to the, those times. And um, I love, whether it's in our meetings, he refers to the Geneva Convention and making sure everyone's happy. And I didn't even know what that was. I'm still kind of confused. But um, he always you know, makes those referrals, which is, keeps us kind of lighthearted and doesn't make us stressed out in any way. Um, and really make sure that we know exactly what we need to do every week and make sure that everyone on the special teams units knows exactly what they need to do. Okay, speaking of Parker, he's 45 points now from the career scoring record. Does he talk about that stuff? Do you guys kid him about that? Just how is that record in, in his mind or in the special teams room? He's really – obviously like, he thinks about it, um, but it's not something – you know, he's more important about just going out there and making the kick so we get points and that will hopefully contribute to a win. Um, I, I joke with him a lot, and I'll be like, you know, Parker, we're, you know, you're 48 points away or whatever it is. Um, but, you know, he just kind of laughs it off and just get, tries to go out there and do his job and not focus too much on his personal goals rather than uh, the team goals and what he's, he needs to do to help us win. Kai, I guess just coming into last fall, I mean, with the pandemic and everything, how much were you able to, like, actually get out and kick before you got here in August? And I guess what did you kind of have to do to find field space or anything like that? So it was, a, it was this really quick transition uh, from when I graduated high school. Uh, it was about like a week or so, and I got here right at the end of May and June, um, but wasn't, I guess, fully enrolled until August, like you said. Um, so I pretty much, it was just training at home, and then I came right here and was started training immediately with Matt, you know, our, all of our snappers and the other specialists, um, and then getting with, or sending Coach Krantz film and, you know, doing whatever he was asking. Um, I tried to get in, come to the, with the guys into the facility when I could, or, or that field across from the stadium. I think they used to practice. Uh, we could get in there a couple times. Sometimes the quarterbacks would be in there running or throwing. Uh, so I pretty much just tried to get to any field or do any work even my, in my room if it was just doing drops on the floor. Or I was rooming with Mitch Jeter, so he would sit there and toss me snaps, and I would just catch and mold, uh, stuff like that. So I just tried to do anything that could help me. When you were still in Lake Forest, did you have to like, hop any fences or anything like that? Or Luckily, we, our high school had a grass, because our game field was fenced off. We couldn't get in. Uh, but we had a, like a lot of grass areas around us, so I just got out there whenever I could.
Kai, what's been the uh, mood of the team these past couple of days simply because you start out with a couple of wins and then it's gotten a little tougher with the SEC. So how are you guys handling it and what's been the mood? I think we, you know, we're definitely disappointed that we haven't been able to uh, get these past two wins because you know, we, know, we go into it knowing and having a really good feeling that we could be 4-0. Um, but if anything, it started with practice on Sunday um, and the film session. The guys are back in here ready. We're not dreading on the past and feeling sorry for ourselves. You know, the guys are coming back in here. Um, and today we had a lot of great energy. That was really good to see. Uh, they're ready to play again in front of you know, home and the great crowd. Um, and everyone's pretty much, if anything, coming in with a better attitude than before because they want to get that, get the win back on the winning column that much more, uh, which has been really great to see. Everyone's having a positive mindset about it. Kai, obviously you had to win a job last year, but th this year, I guess, is it different at all coming in, having been the guy that last year? I mean, how did you kind of approach it? I guess there's what, how different, if at all, is it? I wouldn't really say it's different at all. Um, it's more, it's different from a comfort standpoint, um, just because of me being able to play in the games last year. Um, I kind of know what that's like, but Coach Lambo made it clear that there's competition every week, and we've seen that so far. Um, and Alex and William have been doing a great job as well. So we keep it uh, fun, but we also compete every day of practice, whether it's punting or the kickoff job or whatever it is. Was there a point last year maybe where you really felt comfortable or it started to click or anything like that, or has that become this year? Was there like... I'd say I'd always, I'm always wanting to compete and never think, never really, I guess, sitting in the back seat and just kind of strolling. Because uh, once you do that, in my opinion, or if I did that, then I would start not focusing on my craft or getting better. Um, so I'm always thinking, you know, there's someone that's, you know, wanting to play and trying to be in my position. So I just got to keep working. Yeah, going, going, going for that Mortel Award. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Good. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.